Hey guys, hope you are well. So today I thought I would film a wardrobe declutter video. I did one recently and it was a declutter of my makeup collection. I'll leave that link below. And you guys seem to like that. So I thought I am literally about to clear out my wardrobe room. I may as well just film it. This may take a while. I don't want the video to be five hours long, but grab a cup of tea. It's just gonna be a chatty video. I'll talk you through everything, give you a little tour. Let's just get going. So first things foremost, I'm gonna quickly show you my bathroom because I organized my bathroom recently and I actually think it looks quite good. It's organized mess, but I'll quickly show you it. It's my ensuite in my bedroom. So we've got like this with all of the cleansers that I want to use or get through and then all of the kind of face masks and serums and then all of my fake tans and body things. And then all of the lipsticks that I use on a daily basis, my deodorants, my contact lenses, extra brushes, face wipes, extra cleansers, so lots of LMS cleansing balm, my overspill. Then this is just new makeup that I want to grab and try when I do my makeup. So we've got, sorry my sink's really dirty, that's not good, I need to clean it. We've got Smashbox, I really want to try this one. We've got YSL up all hours. These are just things I'm going to grab and try. Toothbrushes, you don't need to see. Toothpaste, what is this? Beverly Hills formula. Um, and then some cleansing pads. And then on here, just some fake tans to remind myself that I need to fake tan tonight. This has run out, but it's actually really good. Some James Reed, some hair vitamins. Currently loving Lox Tan. All of my little earrings that I'm wearing at the moment. All my mini Jo Malones. This Elizabeth Arden is so, so, so good. Retinol capsules. And then here, lots more Jo Malone perfumes. Some more perfume. This is Armani. Very good. I love Jo Malone so much, if you didn't already know. And then under here, we've got a lot more perfumes lots and lots and lots that's kind of like organized mess and then you've got my cupboard here my beauty cupboard which is actually a lot more organized i know it doesn't look it but this is like seriously organized so i'll talk to you that and then i'm going to sort this wardrobe room out because it's a little bit of a mess i give stuff to charity every single week literally every single week and i give stuff away every single week but it does just mount up because of my job and because of just life so yeah Let's go through the beauty stuff quickly, because I've done a full video on that anyway, then we'll do the wardrobe room. So I've popped my favourite Flower Bomb perfumes and Armani perfumes back here. Armani C brushes here, this is like overspill. Oh, Neutrogena, you're so good. Hydro Boost, and down here. Everything's just kind of like in compartments. I know it doesn't look neat, but it's about as neat as I can get it. And then I've got all of my knickers in here. And then... I've got all of my bras in here and bras underneath as well. You don't need to see that really. And then <laughs> my lipstick collection in here, which I know it's absolutely outrageous, literally outrageous. So let's clean this stuff up. Okay, now I'm gonna go through these shoes. So I have shoes like up here, down 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 here. And to be fair, the majority of them can probably go because I don't actually wear them. But as I say, I give stuff to charity every single week. So the stuff that I pull out of here is either going to be going to charity or going on Depop. I have a Depop M Shell X because I know you guys do like buying my clothes, which is very nice. Thank you. So we'll just decide what's going where. I mean, a lot of these shoes are really battered. It's really annoying. I've got these Chanel Espadrilles. Loves of my life. And look how battered they are. Do not wear Chanel Espadrilles in the rain and do not wear them on a beach to Sri Lanka. Okay. What a shame. I need to buy some more of you. So, these sandals, I actually had so much wear out of them from Stradivarius over summer. Love, love, love. I wore them so much. Oh, my Gucci shoes. I have had so much wear out of these. These are fab. Keep these. Really nice, but I don't think I'm ever going to wear them again. Just because, where are they even from? I feel like these are, yeah, these are Daniel Footwear. They're actually really nice. I might keep them actually, bring them out again. They just need a bit of a clean. These are from Topshop. Really nice for like winter, I actually got these last winter. I don't think they're that flattering, but they're very easy to walk in. And then these ones are actually from Boohoo. Again, very easy to walk in. So let's just neaten this up a bit. So let's move to this shelf. You've seen the Chanel's. I've just put them there because I don't know what to do with them. Got some more Gucci's, which I love. How nice are these? I've had so much wear out of these because they're so thick and chunky and easy to wear. They look really good with jeans as well. 
that. This is just me trying to sort this out, but I don't actually have the room to film me doing this. Oh my goodness, so these have caused so much controversy. People always comment on my videos. They get so much hate. How can you hate a pair of shoes? People are so mean. I really like these. I think they're really pointy and they look really, really nice. People always say on my videos that I hate them, but I think it depends what works for you. I personally like them. And I'm not getting rid of them because I wear them all the time. These. Oh, we've got some knee-high boots. I don't need to keep these because I've recently bought some Stuart Wiseman's. So I'm going to give these ones to charity. So I'm... Oh, I just prodded myself in the stomach. So I'm making myself a charity pile. I don't mean to sell them on the floor. I just don't really have the room on the arms. Let's put these ones back in. I'm gonna go up top. Oh my goodness, these shoes. Got them from Kurt Geiger. Did I get them from Kurt Geiger? Did I? I don't know, but I love them so much. And then Matt threw up on them one night when he was drunk. Don't worry, they're fully cleaned. But how nice are these boots for winter? Absolutely yes. You're staying in my life. Oh, the nicest shoes. I can't decide if they're top. Oh no, these ones are top shop. So I have these ones as well. <laughs> I have a lot of boots. I don't need to buy any more boots this winter. Yes, now I've gone through these. And then these ones as well, which are actually really nice for little zip up the front. A girl does not need this many pairs of shoes, but these are really nice. I don't need them, so I'm gonna give stuff to charity. So I'm just gonna pop these boots back on here, make it neat. This can be my boot shelf. Oh, look how nice they are. Okay, and let me go down here while wow, that's very close. And um, then I've got these. These are just a fail safe, easy to wear option. I think I've had these for years. The thing is, a lot of these boots I've just had for years and years and I just wear them all the time. They've been on many a nights out with me. What oh, these ones? Oh, All Saints boots. I used to wear these to do shifts and they're so nice. Let's move these up to the boot section. I'm not getting rid of you. You're my babies. I love you. Actually, they don't fit. They're gonna just have to go in the All Saints boot section. And then these ones, they are a bit battered. I think they have probably seen better days. I don't know where they're from, but I probably could just give these a little clean up and then give them to a better home. More All Saints boots. God, I remember wearing these. I love them. Look how nice they are. They're very nice little ankle boots. Down here, we've got trainers because you can never have too many trainers, although I have a lot of trainers. Oh, didn't know I had these, some Reebok ones. Oh yes, oh yes, I used to wear these so much and you know what, I'm keeping them because I will definitely wear these again, misguided. It's good to know that I still have all of these shoes. Trainers shouldn't really be in the same section. And then we've got some Ugg boots, which I do not wear anymore, but they're there just in case it gets very cold and snowy. So, these boots from Topshop last year, if you watch my hauls, you'll remember them, really nice. They can go in there. And then these Kurt Geigers, which are wearing pretty much every haul. They are so flattering and so classy. I hope we can fit you in there. That's like the grey shelf unintentionally. And then I've got these little pink ones, which my brother absolutely despises. He hates them, but I think they're very cute from Topshop. So I will oh, pop you. Oh, in here. There we go. Does that look better? <laughs> I just went into my filming area and found so many more pairs of shoes. So we've got some more grey heels. These sold out so quickly, but they're so nice, and I wear them so much. So I'll just pop these on the grey shelf. I'm running out of shoe space. Mainly because my shoe space is now taken up by lipstick. Priorities, people. And then these ones, which I've actually never worn. Nice little chunky heels. These are brand new. I'm wondering, these would probably be really nice given to charity, because I don't know if the roundness suits me. I feel like I am suit more pointed stuff, and I feel like someone these can go to a very very nice home let's do a good deed you know 
Wow, my trainer section, I've just opened it down there, it's a bit of a mess. I've got more trainers here. What I'm thinking is, I might get rid of these boxes up at the top, although I'm a bit scared that the spider's up there, and pop my trainers in there, although I'm a bit scared, so I'm not doing that right now. Because I might look strong, but I don't like spiders. Okay, let's move. So this is a different cupboard, and we've got sandals, trainers, boots, definitely not nicely piled up all my lipsticks and then more trainers and stuff so I'm going to go through here and sort this stuff out because this is not tidy and not what we want and we can definitely clear this up and give lots of stuff away. Just me on the floor. Okay, let's go. I have so many trainers. Obviously I do a lot of working out so trainers are my big thing. Oh, have your honours. I think this just needs to organising. I'm really scared that a spider's going to jump out on me. Sorry if the camera's a bit slanted. I have it on top of the suitcase. Real life problems. Oh, see, I find like these are from Primark and I swear these are the best, nicest sandals and they lasted so long. I keep stuff from Primark for a very, very long time. I will tell you. Oh, knee highs. I'm happy to say I can get rid of all my knee highs and give them all to charity because I've got my Stuart Wise on ones now. It makes me very happy. Oh. Ooh. These are from River Island last year. Look how nice these are. Pink beauties. I will link stuff below if I can find anything similar. Oh, what is in here? Oh, hourglass lipsticks. Wow. Surprises every single day. Love that. Okay. Marc Jacobs sandals, which are absolutely beautiful, but actually killed my feet. I still have the box, so maybe if I clean these up, these can go to charity. I don't know. Can you give shoes to charity? Oh, these are really cool for, like, Canada and stuff. Sorel footwear. This is good for, like... If you are in the the wind, I was gonna say no. If you're in like rainy, snowy conditions, these are so durable and good. Hoka, these are very, very good trainers, very lightweight as well. And shock, we have 46,000 other knee-high boots. Oh, these ones are Kurt Geiger knee-high boots. Incredible. We do love Kurt Geiger. When I was younger, I used to have an obsession with Kurt Geiger. I spent all my money there. Next knee-high boots. These are actually very good knee-high boots from Next as well. Oh, these ones. Marks and Spencers. Right, I think I'm going to need a bag for charity. Oh, and these from ASOS. So a lot of this is going to go to charity just because... And just new footwear that I wear a lot. Like these are... I only wore them to one event. They're amazing, but they will go better to a better home. So, charity pile. Marks and Spencers knee-high boots. You are incredible. But because I already have my knee-high boots now from Shit Wiseman. Charity. What the reason I bought my designer knee-high boots is so that I don't now spend money on new knee-high boots. Um, so I'm more than happy to give the really good quality knee-high boots that I did get to charity because I know that they'll be so happy in a different home. And these are amazing, but because I'm not in Canada again at the moment, because <laughs> I used to live there for anyone that's new, I am going to give these to charity as well. Charity. Oh, this is good. It feels cleansed. I want to put this on my boot section, but there's no room, so they can go in here. We need an actual trainer section, I feel, because I have so many trainers. These are pretty much brand new. They're in such good quality. I'm really excited. I love giving stuff away. I'd love to do, like, a, an actual giveaway thing, where, like, you can all just come around to my house and choose clothes. These, oh, do you guys remember these from Topshop? Oh, last year I got so much wear out of them. Yay, we've now got a little pink shelf. And then I might just pop sandals in the edge there. change that angle up so these boots i swear i have had these since i worked at all saints which was years and years and years and years ago i've probably had these for about eight years and they are incredible 16 17 18 19 20, 20. yeah i've probably had them for eight years and they're incredible that is why you buy good boots and then the sock ones that i was talking about also all saints oh i used to love all saints footwear the quality is so good i feel very emotional about this because i went to vietnam got very drunk packed my suitcase to get a flight the next morning nearly missed the flight and may have left a birkenstock sandal in my hotel room so i've kept this for the mems and for the lols but it needs to go what a shame who loses a birkenstock sandal ah I know I was talking about the importance of expensive shoes, but these are from Primark. I probably got them five years ago, and they are still my favourite sandals ever. They cross across the, they cross across the cross, 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 across the foot, and they look so good. 
and they're never going. They're never going out of my life, actually. I had two pairs. I had a pair of nude and the nude one snapped this summer. Devastated. These guys are still going strong. Hooray, I've got me a whole clear shelf at the top. Wait, yay. Yay, I'm so happy. I told you I had a lot of knee high beats, so I'm going to pop all of my trainers up there on one shelf, yeah. That shoe's done. Now we're gonna get onto the clothes. I do go through my clothes a lot more than I go through my shoes. Like I go through my clothes on a weekly basis. So this shouldn't be too bad. I think it just needs hanging and organizing and all that jazz. Shoes, we've got to go to charity. Yay. So the clothes section was organized into coats, which I haven't always beloved in the loft for winter. And then this is like new in stuff so that I know what to shoot, like for obviously pictures and my life and events and stuff. And then this was dresses. And then this was maxi dresses. That is not the case anymore. It's just become a bit of a mess. So let's go through it. Let's literally start going through it. Good ab workout. So I try to have this bit color coordinated and to be fair, this bit is the tidiest bit out of all of it because I go through this quite often to chuck stuff out although a jumper dress can move to the jumper dress section yay okay so I think it's just like these sections that have got horrendously out of control weird orders and I like everything to be color coordinated oh okay let's let's see so I'm making it another charity pile for clothes to go to charity and I just choose charity shops, local charity shops to send them to and I also give stuff to a local domestic abuse charity who are amazing and when the women turn up at the doors they obviously don't have anything so I tend to give them stuff every month or so as well. Oh, I love this dress, it sold out so quickly though, so nice. I wore this one in Disney, it was 50% off the other day actually, very flattering. So I tried to keep my newer stuff in one section just so that I know that it's newer um, I don't know why I just do <laughs> like there shouldn't be a cloak down in this section <laughs> I have quite a lot of two pieces if you guys have me on Instagram you might remember this one and this one that I wear all the time a lot of these clothes in here is stuff that like I've had for years like I bought that two piece years ago and I still love it to this day so I think I'm gonna pop the two pieces high up although I just have a lot of coats up there right now which is why space is quite difficult and also I just can't reach I'm too small so two pieces for now I can go at this side <laughs> until I organize that although I don't know if that color suits me so that can go to charity my favorite part jumper dresses jumper dresses for me are the best thing about autumn apart from mold wine i wore this one so much last year it's so 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 nice i'm just really into my jumper dresses oh and this one from misguided which i literally wore knee high boots like every single day i love stuff that you can wear over and over again in winter another two-piece although where's the other skirts attached cute little two-piece that's gorgeous you can go in my jumper dress section oh and then for some reason we have dresses that shouldn't even be in here gosh i've had so much wear out of this this is so nice i wore this in florida actually look at those colors so they can move to the dress section i'm quite impressed with how neat my dress section is actually this little yellow dress was like six pounds and again i've had so much wear out of that i wore it to the shard in london for dinner Oh, so nice. This time last year, actually. 
Very nice dress. I remember when Matt and I went on our first trip to Barcelona and he made me buy this from a little independent boutique. So another dress that I take abroad with me pretty much every single time I go abroad. Just like a little striped off the shoulder dress. You get those dresses that you just wear for years and years. Like definitely have clothes in here that I've been wearing since I was 16. It's good to get your wear out of things. Like this. I remember wearing this literally years ago on a night out. So I'm also putting play suits in this section. So we've got play suits. Jumper dresses and two pieces now. Also this, does anyone remember this from my first days of vlogging? I love it. Little, I love a play suit. More play suits. Do you think play suits are so nice? I remember Matt saying that he really liked me in this. It's like a boiler suit. <laughs> I feel like I'm just not going to wear it anymore. I literally got this when I was 16. I can't part with it, I know I should, but I should. <laughs> Memory. So jumpsuits need to go up because they're long. So I've got this one that I wore in Barcelona and this one I've had so much wear out of it. This was like my favorite jumpsuit of the summer. So nice with the stripes, such a classy jumpsuit. I'm way too small to do this. I need a ladder. Oh, grass. So this, wait, is a maxi dress and this needs hanging. Look how nice this is. Oh, lace backless maxi. I never really got enough wear out of it because I didn't really know where to wear it. I didn't have a good enough occasion to wear it to so that can stay for an occasion. Somewhere along the lines, all of the stuff is in the wrong sections because these are maxi dresses and these do not believe belong in this area. The dresses are like, you can't sit with us. <laughs> More jumpsuits in the wrong section. <laughs> ah! Just so that it's easier to grab stuff and have it organized, I think is the only way to do it. Whereas at the moment it's all a bit higgledy piggledy. Oh, I wore this to Disney. I love it. Does anyone else get attached to clothes? Two pieces are just awkward to hang. I don't think they look very good. Hung up, really, if I'm honest. So I'm going to move the jumper dresses to the front of this section. Look at them. I do not need to buy jumper dresses this season. This is a really good way to see what's in your wardrobe and all that jazz. And that's full of them. Oh my god, guys. Do you remember how much I wore this dress this year? So nice. Although I don't know why you're in this section. Ah. <laughs> Shouldn't get annoyed, but I am. So we've got jumper dresses. Yay, I mean, I definitely don't need this many. And like this one is in such good quality still, even though I wore it so often. So it just means that I can still wear these this year. Look how nice these are. Oh yes, this one's off the shoulder. Love it. Love it. It's like a snuggly bear. You can't beat just a plain black jumper dress. All about these jumper dresses it's a yes from me and then this section is like my new stuff just so i know what to pack in my suitcases and stuff so that's why the colors are all a bit here there and everywhere matches my instagram feed um and then this is your play suits like i'm telling you as if you guys are going to come into my bedroom i mean you're more than welcome and then these are the two pieces so now this section is a bit nicer okay let's move to this which is coats and lots of them okay so my wardrobe room is really awkward i found a step to get up um i'm so small yay so i'm sorry that you can't see everything i will try and show you as much as i can but that's why the filming's a bit random so i'm just gonna quickly go through oh, stretching through my oh, <laughs> through my clothes and my coat so this is a nice little two-piece which can we move down to the new in section gosh i'm like asos into emma's new in section um 
And then I've got my Burberry trench, which I have had so much wear out of, and my Burberry scarf, which is my number one. Oh, my shaggy Topshop coat. Oh, I treated myself to this Burberry coat as well. How lovely is this? So what I'm trying to do with coats and stuff, actually, is, oh, have ones like my Burberry trench that I can use over and over again for years and years, and then I never need to buy another trench. And it's working okay for me right now. So you guys are gonna laugh. Whew. What is this? Okay, this is really nice, but I don't need it, and I'm not gonna wear it because it's so long. So I'm gonna give this to charity. Yeah, so I used to be obsessed with Juicy Couture, still am. Their fragrance wee is amazing. But Juicy Couture tracksuits, I've got four of them up here, and they're never going. They're really good to wear to the gym or to wear underneath like your coats or with leggings. It's the first leather jacket I ever got. My mum bought me it from Zara and I love it. I feel like it's time to say goodbye. Okay, you can you can go. But I've had so much wear out of it, that's what this is making me realise. Like I have worn some of this stuff into the ground. Oh, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of mustard, but I am, and I love this jacket. Oh, I'm so excited for Topshop to bring these back out this year so more people can get their hands on them. How nice. And I will be keeping mine. It's such high quality. This is full of Ray-Bans. I want to get an actual, oh, an actual thing where I can put them all out on display. So if anyone knows where I can get one of those, please let me know. That would be incredible. This is looking neater already. Okay, so now I'm on to some random clothes in the middle of the coats. That annoys me. No, <laughs> that's not how it's meant to be. Oh, this is what happens when you just hear there and everywhere. So, and I just want it all off my floor, so I just kind of hung it up anywhere. Ooh. Right, this is another two-piece. Love this. I wore this in Paris. Oh, the nicest spotty two-piece ever. Anything that is available still, I will try link below, and I'll show you pictures because... I love this. You can go into the two-piece section, my love. Never getting rid of this dress from Disney. This is just like my Disney dress that I wore at the castle. Okay, we're back onto clothes. All Saints Leather Jacket, absolutely yes. It's a yes from me. Incredible. Again, I've had so much wear out of this. This teddy coat from Revolve remains my favourite teddy coat ever. Just sits so nicely. And then my new, oh, misguided teddy coat. I love this colour. Okay, so that's looking much better now. I will show you. Yay, a little bit of time and it looks so much better. There we have it. They're all neatly in there. And then you've got my stuff neatly below. <laughs> now this needs tackling so this is for my maxi dresses and my pull it my jumpsuit so everything that's kind of long so I can tuck it under wow this is gonna be a task hi here I am okay so this is the only way I can kind of try and get up here and show you this section so what is happening here a lot of these are empty hangers which are taking up a lot of space I know that someone commented before and said if I use thin hangers I'll get twice as much room and I think I might need to do that but that would mean taking everything off the hangers and starting again but yeah I liked the thick white hangers because I think they look rustic but thin ones will definitely be better I remember wearing this in Death Valley in America Oh my goodness, the back of it is so nice, but it's way too thick to wear in heat. So I'm just trying to organise this into colours and ensuring that they're all tucked under because it's this section that just makes my whole wardrobe room look very messy. And then I'm just moving a few mini dresses from this section to here to then move to this section. Why is a gym top, top hung up in there? No, no, no. No, no, no. And a jump and a t-shirt dress. Everything's just in the wrong sections. So most of the sections are done, I'll talk you through them in a minute, I'm just going to hang up these bits that are on the floor. We have like bags and bags of stuff for charity which I'm so happy and positive about, love that. But as I said, I do tend to go through like these bottom rails on a weekly basis pulling stuff out and organising it, so I'm kind of, I knew I was on top of it but I didn't actually realise how much other stuff I'd have for charity. Um, and it's good to know that so much of this stuff I've worn so much and had so much use out of. 
and I've finally gone through my shoes which I never do so I'm just gonna hang these bits up and then we will go through it all and do a little tour this is one of my favorite dresses ever if you followed me when I was in Greece look it's so nice and it's so slinky also got this and wore this in Greece and love it but didn't realize it was a double extra small and I thought this is weird I feel like my organs are being crushed and then I went into the toilet with my mum and she checked and it's an XXS my boobs and my bum and my whole body cannot fit into that I somehow fit into it spent the whole night feeling like I was literally could not move so yeah I wish I sized up don't know why I got the wrong size Yay, so before I show this all come together, I'm going to quickly go through my handbags because they need sectioning. I do need a proper space for my handbags, I acknowledge that, but at the moment I am in the midst of moving house, which is going to be a whole vlog in itself, so I'll explain that soon. Um, lots and lots to tell you on that front. So for now, they're just going to go on. They're kind of dotted behind the clothes here, there and everywhere, but I've just popped them on the floor to neatly put back up there. I can't get through and now I know this is the worst storage ever for designer bags but I've just literally got them in here so you've got like my Givenchy clutch my YSL bag my other YSL bag a Gucci bag it kind of pains me that they just sat here but just right now I don't really have the room to get everything sorted I'm actually gonna pop these under here so I think one of the reasons this section gets so messy is because everything hangs low and then I put bags underneath it as well this actually looks a little bit better although I feel like designer bags should have their own shells and be displayed kind of like the shoes are maybe I should trade the lipsticks on my designer bags I don't know what do you guys think um but they actually look fine here I just think designer bags are so beautiful and so expensive they shouldn't be shoved into her little thing it feels a bit wrong And then my Louboutins, which absolutely kill my feet, but I loved wearing them at graduation. Can go here, pride of place. So let's look at what we've done. Guys, this is a reality. This is all going to charity right now. A lot of stuff. That is looking so much better. I can't. Oh! Fell. I can't wait to show you how oh, my Gucci bag fell. Um, I'm just going to show you where my actual other clothes are, stuff that's not been hung up. I'm not going to go through this whole section with you guys because, again, I go through this very often and pull stuff out to give away and give to charity and all that jazz. Um, it's not the neatest, but I will show you kind of how I store my clothes for now. So inside here, I put all my gym kit to the top and it goes all the way back, another two of these and then more gym kit. I know that it doesn't look that neat, but you've got to remember this is a place that I live and breathe, like this isn't a showroom. And then jeans and skirts and shorts in this section, and again, two more down there. And then t-shirts and tops in this section, some more skirts, jumpers, pajamas, swimwear, and then more jumpers. So yeah, I think it's important to remember because I know that people sometimes make comments about people's bedrooms being messy and stuff. It is real life and people are like running businesses, doing jobs, doing people have families and stuff. So no one's bedroom is going to be tidy all the time. And that's why I'm happy to put my hands upon Instagram and be like, yep, my bedroom is a total, total mess today. Because it usually is because I don't have the time really to organize this. So I'm glad I've had the time today. But obviously nothing is going to be perfect. I know that that for example annoys me because it could be a lot tidier but at least it's behind the closed cupboards so i'm now just going to show you everything and run through it i'm excited yay we can see my floor it's no longer a floor drove so you walk in you've got me here i'll link this jumper below as well how cute and then you've got my bathroom behind and then here we are so you've got all of my clothes so this is a section I was saying I was just putting my Louboutins, which I've got glitter on from a campaign I shot. My Gucci bag, which keeps falling down. I think I'm going to get some hooks in this area here to hang all my designer bags or maybe some shelves. That is a good shout. And these are like all my comfy socks and stuff. Because as much as I like Gucci, I actually prefer comfy Primark socks. And then we've got all of my jumpsuits. So we've got the long jumpsuits and the maxi dresses in this section here. And then this section here we've got all of my dresses I could definitely break this down a little bit more and as I said I do try to go through like every other week to get rid of stuff and then if we walk down here we've got lots of spare hanging space because there's lots of stuff currently in a suitcase and then we've got all my jumper dresses we've got my new stuff that I'm gonna pack in my suitcases and we've got two pieces and then up this way we've got all my winter coats I have more in the loft which I need to have another clear out of we've got more bags designer bags and so just kind of 
here until I organise the space. Ray bands, and then you can see it from this side as well. Sorry, guys, it's just really hard to capture it to show you the extent of it. And then we've got all my shoes, which, yay, they look so much better. Neon candle, this was kindly drawn for me by a brand, and a pineapple. And we've got these cupboards, which have got all my lipsticks in, and more shoes. So yeah, lots of lipstick collection, crazy shoes. I love YSL lipsticks, Armani, Charlotte Tilbury, you name it. All those shoes, and then this is what you saw before that's got all of my actual clothes that I grab and go with. I know, again, that's not the best way to store them, but we got a lot of clothes. And then I bought this bra recently from Fig Leaves. Oh my god, look how nice it is. It's by Wonder Bra. And then we've got my crazy makeup collection in here. And bras and knickers and all that jazz down here. there we have it guys, I hope you liked this really random video decluttering my wardrobe room with a little updated wardrobe room tour. I would like to film one a bit more professionally so you can see the angles and see the room a bit better. You can kind of see it here with me. But I hope you liked this video, thank you as always for watching, come say hi on Instagram, stuff I mentioned will be linked below. And yeah, now I need to go and sort out all of the bags, send them to charity, I might try and let you guys know which charity shops I'm dropping them off at just so that if you are in the area you can pick some stuff up and I'll also try and hopefully pop some stuff on Depop as well. Thanks as always for being so lovely and supporting me and thank you in advance for watching this video. Goodbye guys, big love!